Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff. And today, well, it's not Splinterlands. It's it's not uh, Rising Star. It's not Top Shot. What what is this? Uh, well, let me preface by saying this is the first video I'm doing like this on the channel. Uh, where I'm actually gonna just kind of freestyle tell you about a newer project that I just got into. It all starts with me burning some chainsaws. Uh, for those not familiar, uh, this is all on the Wax blockchain, I'll just say right off the bat, since uh, I guess I haven't really done any Wax blockchain stuff on this channel previously, so might be new to some of you. If it is, my apologies. I'm not going to get into everything about Wax in this, uh, but there's plenty of other videos from Little content Creators if you need to learn more about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, in short, Farmer's World is or was the number one game on Wax for several months. Uh, the developers have been pretty, well, not completely mute, but mostly mute. They've been teasing the updates for months. It's the big thing, win update, yup. There's a whole bunch of memes and inside jokes in the Discord and stuff, but uh, long story short, their token, everything has been plummeting and plummeting. And, uh, oh yeah, plummeting. Let's see, just pull this up here. Throw that on there. So uh, here is... That this is Farmer's World Wood Token. Uh, this is the one minute chart. You can see it's going down the one minute chart. Let's go to 15 minute chart. Uh, it's down even more. Uh, 30 minute chart. Yikes. What one hour? Okay, okay so up here it's 0 0.01. Here it's uh, 0 0.002. Uh, four hour chart. How's that look? Uh, ooh. 0.25 up here. So a 0 0.0022 versus 0.25, that, that's what, the 99% haircut right there? Since uh, the end of January. Daily chart. Well, th there, there's everything when you get the daily chart. Was as high as over 7 wax. Well, we'll be generous. We'll, we'll say the high was 6 wax per wood. Now it's 0 0.00225. One of the uh, best tools in the game was, anyway, uh, Chainsaw. Let's see, uh, Chainsaw. Let's go on for, let me just refresh it, just, just in case it, it's changed here. Do, do, do. Oh, it, it went down some more. It was 73.49. Uh, 72.8 wax. And I got a different screen, but uh, currently uh, the cost to uh, craft this is like 62 wax. But let's, let's be generous. Let's just say it's worth the 73 wax, okay? Well, there's this uh, newer game in town called Castles. This is not a sponsor for you, I think, by the way. Uh, they haven't sent me anything. I haven't talked to the developers or anything other than, like, just being in the Discord a little bit. I haven't even said very much in there. But uh, anyways, this is just on my own accord, full disclosure. Now, this is financial advice. Just let you know what I've done and let you know about something else you might want to look into as well. Up to you. No pressure. Uh... If I didn't mention that this is a one take video, just how I roll. Uh, there's no editing or anything. This is off the cuff. I, I have no script. I've, I've got nothing. This is. I, I threw some tabs up that I thought I'd reference, and uh, we'll see where it goes. So, uh, this is the white paper. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below so you can read it through yourself. I'm not going to go out in full detail. Uh, but I should probably have known what tab I want to look at first and foremost. Uh, but let's see. Here we go. So, land scarcity and cost increases. The more farms that are minted, either from barons or crafting or rewards, the scarcer lands will become by increasing their crafting costs. As the farm mint tiers increase, the merge costs, castle rewards, baron, and castle recharge costs also adjust to the economy. Importantly, land earnings remain the same. The first cost increase occurs at 500,000 farms minted. Fine wood is a crafting ingredient created by the Carpenter. will be released in a future event. That's about a month away, I think. Or like three weeks is when it starts. That's a two-week window or something like that. The uh, full table is below. So, uh, that, again, not all the features are released yet, but they have a very detailed roadmap that stuff included. Uh, so, yeah, farms been in the first 500,000. You'll be able to craft it for two fine wood and one royal seal. Uh, royal seals, I'll just 
tell you you can buy them from the game company I will say for five dollars each you can also buy and sell them on the marketplaces uh, castle earning bonus one royal seal castle recharge cost one royal seal baron recharge cost one royal seal uh, the baron mints one land every day and it's expensive uh, the baron is land at merge m source cost base rate and then as you can see so once we hit 500,000 plus, so 500,001 farm is minted, well, that's going to cost you four fine wood and two royal seals. And the castle earning bonus will be one to two instead of one. And the recharge cost, uh, it's a weekly recharge, by the way, so you have to basically spend, burn, whatever you want to call it, uh, currently one royal seal per week. Uh, but the castles actually generate uh, one royal seal per day, which... I think is what this column is then, castle earning bonus. So each day it gets one, but you pay one per week. So you actually generate extra real seals with castles. Uh, the barons though, that increases. So just skip down here. So uh, three to six, we'll, we'll just say you get four per day. So four per day times seven is 28. You're gonna spend 14 if you've got one of each. If you've got two barons and one castle, it's gonna be 22, quick math. So you get the idea just to like if you want to be self-sufficient and stuff, but uh, basically their goal seems to be that there will never be enough of everything for everybody kind of thing. Like there's, they, they want to have scarcity play a large role in basically everything, which is good in preserving the value of your assets, in my opinion, not financial advice. Um, so yeah, as you can see, as farms, number of farms get minted, things get more and more expensive quick. It's like the first 500,000 stays the same, but then like if the number of farms are like keep growing exponentially, which given the higher and higher costs, I, I get, I assume the plan is that one way or another, they won't grow exponentially. Uh, since you can see like the gap here closes as well, that takes 250,000 additional, then 125,000. So basically like it's almost like a halving event in terms of numbers minted while you have a doubling event for all the costs. So yeah, ultimately, the Baron recharge cost will be 16 Royal Seals per week. So just for easy math, let, let's say it's 14. That means you're basically paying two per day because that recharges for one week, which will allow you to mint a land seven times. And the Baron, I believe, mints the lowest tier land, the farm, 95% of the time. Let's see, is it here? Royal Barons. Yep, 95% chance to mint a farm, 4.5%. 5% ranch, half percent village. Uh, so, but most weeks you will get uh, only farms. Uh, and right now, you can see Royal Seals Marketplace, 18 wax. Go to lands, cheapest farm right now is 23.99 wax, $6.36. So, currently a farm is a little bit more expensive than a Royal Seal. Uh, again, you can buy Royal Seals from the game itself for $5, so it's a difference of, we'll say, $1.36. Well, right now, again, it only costs you one Royal Seal per week to get you seven farms or better if you happen to roll a ranch or a village. But once we get to 937,000 plus farms minted, well, now you're basically paying two Royal Seals plus per one land. So if the Royal Seal has a base price of $5, that means you're paying over $10 per land. So does that mean that the floor of a farm, as we get to that point, will be at least $10? I, I can't say for sure, but... That seems like a reasonable thought process. I actually, this is a new thought process for you that I didn't like actually do this math in advance. It's like, oh, I haven't looked fully, fully into these details. This is interesting. Like the, the, the more I dig, the more I analyze and interpret things, it's the better it seems in my mind, not financial advice. And uh, I, again, no script or anything, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm sorry if it's hard to follow. I'm sorry if I'm storing my words. It's, it's a new video type for me. You may love it, you may hate it, I don't know. Let me know in the comments so I can try to improve if I do things like this again in the future. But anyways, 
Uh, back to the point at hand. Burn your chainsaws into lands event. That happened earlier today. Sorry, you missed out. Um, so what what did that mean? Well, if you're tired of working the land on farmer's land, and you're ready to own the land, look no further. Castles NFT has a limited time promotion for you. Cast aside the manual labor, throw away your rusted tools, and earn a piece of glory. So for this event, if you got a chainsaw, you could select it and then burn it to get this peasant to lord land pack that includes four lands. It's got a guaranteed three farms, lowest tier land, and then the fourth land slot, 75% will be farms, 20% ranch, 5% village. And uh, hey, look, I've got handy a spreadsheet. Uh, so yeah, th this is basically the, ch I just call it like the chainsaw pack. I'll probably explain more of the spreadsheet. Bear with me. Um, so yeah, 75% chance of a farm, which over here I've got, these are the current base rates as of when I hit record for this video. Uh, cheapest farm is 23.99. 75 percent of the time you get that, that's about 18 uh, wax. 20% of the time you get a ranch worth about 60 wax. That adds 12 to the EV per slot. And 5% of the time you'll get a village worth 151. That adds 7.55. All that combined uh, times 4 will get you the EV here. Um, sorry, 3 farms, which is B2, so 3 23.99s plus this, 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 because that's the EV of the fourth slot, gets you 109.6 wax. Worst case, 75% of the time, you get four farms, that's 95.96. And as I said earlier, uh, the cost to craft a chainsaw right now, if you bought wood and gold from Alcor and then crafted the chainsaw, would be 62 wax. If you wanted to just buy a chainsaw outright, it's 72.8 wax right now uh, on Atomic Cup. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, uh, never mind the fact that, uh, again, this is what's been happening to the price of wood. And do, 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 do. these are even falling uh, on volume now. Here's gold. The, the, the chart changed. It kind of blipped a little bit, but it's, it's, it's basically the same. It's basically the same. Now, Farmer's World, maybe. Hopefully, I still have assets in it, so I, I hope uh, they, at some point, actually have an update and things recover, at least temporarily, and I can get some value extracted. Uh, but in the meantime, I crafted and burned as many chainsaws as I could in the about five minutes that the event lasted. They only had 350 packs. I was worried, um, for my own sake, that the 350 was going to be gone in, like, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, definitely under a minute. Like, I thought I'd get, like, maybe two burns, two land packs, but I ended up getting 12. Uh, for my second Farmer's Rule account, uh, I was, I actually uh, ended up burning all of those, plus I was able to craft uh, six additional chainsaws. I still have the six chainsaws on my main account. Uh, again, I'm, I'm hopeful. I, I'm not confident it means, but I'm, I'm hoping that there's at least some recovery at some point so I can like get some value back from Farmer's World itself, but I'm uh, taking control of my own destiny a little bit and uh, trying to capture the glory, as they say. So, uh, re-diversifying my stuff here. So, land scarcity, all looks good. Again, white paper, all in the description. Definitely read through that more than even I have so far, since I'm still learning as I go here, obviously, but just shows you how much I liked and confident I was in it quickly uh, that I'm making these moves. But anyways, uh, let's see, where do I go from here? Uh, I should show you, th this is their token, uh, their being castles, uh, M source. So all your lands hourly, well actually I, th I think it's constantly, but we'll, we'll check in a little bit here, uh, is M source. I'm just going to go, let's see, four hours. So, lifetime chart. I think it's going to start February 7th, because when it's brand new, there's no volume. You know, things get extra crazy. But you can see, like, I mean, it's it's a decent range percent-wise, but, like, overall, I mean, down, up, down, like, 
it's kind of neutralized. I I would and I I was close to like putting in some bids as it was getting down here, because it's like this seems like it's just getting too cheap. I just had a feeling. I I didn't follow the feeling, but uh, it bounced from low fives zero 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 five, so it's it's cheaper than wood, believe it or not. <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's on the recovery path already. A someone who apparently was a farmer's world whale, uh, really whaled into castles last night, uh, like 23 hours ago, on uh, March 13th. They bought a bunch of castles and a bunch of barons, and it was kind of crazy. And that was one person that like moved the market like a ton, like a day or two ago. Actually, let's see, farm. Last sales. So, well, actually, if I go last sales, it only goes back not very far. Well, basically, here is where all the buying really started happening. So, uh, farms were about 19 wax, which is still really good. And then it actually got upwards of 30 wax and one randomly sold for 49 wax. And I'm guessing right about, yep, right here, 2 o'clock is when the chainsaw event happened. So, it went from 27 wax and then a bunch more got produced because of that got down to like 21 is the lowest I ever really saw it at and it's already recovering and it's back to 24 so um, last days so let's see if you go back a couple weeks you, you got a lot for like 6 to 10 wax in late February first couple days of March and it's been going up since then so uh, you can see that maybe I should have a script for these I don't know. I, I don't like to, you know, prepare. That just seems like too much work then, right? I just gotta, just gotta give you, just spew the knowledge at you, and if it hits, it hits, and if it's crap information, I apologize. Uh, but there's gotta be some good information here, info in here somewhere, right? Maybe. Uh, but anyways, let's go over here. Uh, I, I, I've bought some lands already, too. I don't have a castle just yet, but once I get enough M source, uh, then I can merge a village into a town, and then three towns into a city, and then three cities into a castle. Uh, it takes three of one land, of the same land type, plus M source, to basically like level it up. So just click here. So vill village, merge, it would take me 19,440 M source uh, to merge it. And there's also chances that you get extra lands when you merge. Uh, so basically, like, Three farms should always be a little bit more expensive than one ranch. Three ranches will always be more expensive than one village, etc. At least, unless M source gets really expensive because you do pay amount of M source. More M source, the higher your leveling. You can see your farms. If you merge those, you have a 39.6% chance of getting at least one land back. So, you you take three farms, you merge them. 60.4% chance you get a ranch. 36% chance you get a ranch plus one farm back, essentially. And a 3.6% chance you get a ranch plus two farms back. So 3.6% chance of the time, you're basically just training a farm for a ranch straight up. Because you're training in three farms, and you're getting three things back, two farms and a ranch. Which you're really, really good. And if you're just super lucky... When you merge your uh, three cities with that 0.1% chance, you get two cities back in a castle. That'd be busted. That'd be busted. I feel like I'm throwing too much information to you guys. This is supposed to be just... Eh, well. Th it's a full tutorial, kind of. Whatever. I'll try to tell it appropriately. You already know. But oh well. Oh god, I almost 20 minutes be already. I need to uh, go somewhere with this. Ah, um, So... Longer story shorter, long story shorter, something. Uh, for this event, the burn event, I think I already said I burned 12 chainsaws. I opened one pack already, got four farms, and I was like, I should do a video. So, I've got 11 more peasant uh, to Lord packs, and it's cut off there, but... There you go. I might not open this one right away because, you know, so I pay extra for that because, you know, there's a lot of memes in crypto, especially number 69, number 420. They just often go for premium. So I may try to sell that pack just because of the serial number. Somebody might pay extra for it. 
Maybe I'll open it accidentally if I do. Oh, well, not the biggest deal in the world. But we're going to open the other 10 here. And anything we get that's not a farm is just extra win. Because, again, four farms worth 96 wax. Chainsaws, 62 to 73 range, depending on how you look at. Uh, I actually... Do, 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 I planned ahead. Let's see, can I make this bigger? Here's my order history. Uh, I actually put in staggered bids before I went to bed last night. So I got about, I put in bids for 20,000. There's a 0.2% fee on Elcor for Farmer's World tokens, just FYI. So 20,000 ends up giving me 19,960 of the token. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, I put in staggered bids at 2501 and 2401 and 2301 and 212, and they all hit. So I had almost 80,000 wood uh, sitting in Elcor. So during the burn event, when it didn't sell it instantly, I was like, okay, I can now transfer this wood into the game. I had extra gold already because I've been just manufacturing too much gold. Uh, and I was able to, like I said, craft. See, I burned the six that I had on the second account in this event. And I was able to craft and burn six additional chainsaws for a total of 12. And yeah, you already saw these are the lens I have so far. I'm generating 3,400, uh, sorry, 3,040 mSource per hour. I didn't uh, spreadsheet uh, all my buys just yet, uh, but I paid less than current market for everything I have here. So that's good. You, you can look it up if you really, really, really want to know. Um, maybe I'll do like a financial analysis kind of thing or something in a future video if you guys demand it. Just let me know in the comments if you want to see more information on castles, and I can try to give you more prepared, polished info, maybe. I don't know. I'm over the place. I apologize. But one take wonder. I'm not redoing this. I'm already 22 minutes in. I can't just throw that much of my life away, but I'm making you throw that time of your life away because I am rude like that. I don't know. I'm going. Shut up, Jeff. Focus. So if I didn't say they had 350 of these, they did 150 earlier, like the days leading up to it as like tests. And those lasted a decentish amount of time, but at that point, four farms was I think worth slightly less than a chainsaw. So it was like, yeah, this might be a safer bet. It's hard to say. Oh, speaking of safer bet though, the ROI is currently worse. Uh, these, this is the ROI at the current rates. Uh, so basically, if you buy a farm for 23.9 wax, uh, you can see here. It generates 240 m source per hour. So 23.99 divided by, in parentheses, 240 times B8, the cost of m source is 126 and a half days. So the price of m source does not change. That's actually the current bid price, at least when I put that in. Let's double check. Okay, it's currently 76104. So let me just give you the guys the newest info here. Whoops. Ba -da -da -ba. Yeah, I'm not fancy. No, this is preloaded, it's all manual. But it's as up to date as I can. So, without fully, fully going through every line, currently, if you can afford it, the best ROI is a castle straight up. 4,730 wax, cheapest castle on the market. A castle will generate for you uh, 2,430 M source per hour. And you will also generate for you seven royal seals per week, but one of which you will have to burn. So, uh, to recharge your castle. So, at the end here, I took the value of uh, Royal Seal on the marketplace, on Atomic Hub, 18 wax, times 6 divided by 7. Did I do that right? I may have done that wrong. Times 6 divided by 7, because... Well, actually, it just be t just times six, right? How much does this change it? Wait, daily, daily. That that's why it's that. Okay, cause yeah, cause you get again, you create seven per week, one each day, one of which you have to spend. So in a week, you get six. So in a day, you get six sevenths. That's, that's what I did there. Okay. 
So yeah, a royal seal, 18 wax, times 6 sevenths, basically, times 0.9 because there's a 6% marketplace fee uh, from castles, plus 2% for town cub and 2% for whatever. It's 10% all in. So basically, if you sell the extra 6 royal seals towards getting to ROI, uh, ROI, payback period, whatever terminology you prefer that makes sense to you, castles the best, 81 days. Again, full disclosure for Farmer's World right now, the big tools, chainsaw, fishing boat, and uh, mine excavator, they're in like, they're usually in the 21 ish to 45 day range. Kind of like 25 to 35 is like the sweet range that they're mostly in, but they can stray a little bit. Uh, but uh, when the price does this, well, your ROI also does that. It gets longer and longer. And longer. My ROI is long. Uh, but so far, M Source, like, I mean, if you bought M Source at the ask here at, you know, 0014, well, you're down 50% currently. But, again, based on all this landscape we went over, I feel like a lot of stuff's going to keep going up. Not necessarily keep going up, but, like, there's going to be peaks and valleys naturally. I will try to be smarter and take some profits through there no matter how confident I am in it because fool me one, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on well, however that goes. I don't know. Words words aren't my thing, if you can't tell. Uh, so yeah. Th these are ROIs. Uh, if castle's out of your price range but you want to get involved, uh, the next best is village, uh, based on the cheapest on the marketplace when I started this video uh, at 151 wax. It would take you Basically three months. Uh, Baron, which he w that was like forty five hundred wax or it got even higher than that last night when the whale was just buying everything. Uh, that's one hundred and seventy three days. Again, the Baron generates one land each day. Here's the Baron: ninety five percent chance of a farm, four and a half percent chance at a ranch, half percent chance at a village. So it's gonna generate for you twenty six point two six per day. But if you then sell it on the marketplace. Uh, you take that times 0.9, and then also you have to subtract the cost for Royal Seal divided by 7, uh, because it takes you one Royal Seal per week uh, for the Baron. So basically, if you sell every land you generate with your Baron to try to get to your money back as soon as possible, that way you're going to basically clear 21 wax per day. It's going to take you 173 days to recoup the current low cost, low cost, the lowest available cost of 3,649 wax. And over here you can see too, uh, basically right now the worst buy is the ranch at 60 wax. Because if you were to take three ranches at 60.46, never mind the fact that there might not be three available at that same lowest price, it might be a higher each time, uh, to convert to one village based on the cheapest village on the marketplace of 151 wax, well it's going to cost you 181.38 wax for three lands at 60.46 it's going to take you 6,480 M source at at just using the bid price so best case scenario that means your total cost to get to one village is 186.311 your guarantee is the 151 and then factoring uh, the chances of getting some villages back uh, there's an 18% chance to get one village back and a 1.8% chance to get two back. Then your total EV is 164, which is 22 wax less than the cost of 186. So basically, at these current prices you see here on the market, you would, on average, lose a little bit merging three farms into a ranch. You would definitely lose merging three ranches into a village if you're buying them for you know the price of the market. But basically, at that point, you're better off selling the ranches for 60 wax each and then taking what you get and then just buying the village. Like, you'll, you'd you'd come out ahead that way. Um, wait, would you? Because you'd have the fees if you did that. So 60 times 3, 180 minus 18, 162. So you'd still come out ahead by like 10 wax if you can sell them fast enough to then buy the village for the cheapest. But like, things are always changing, so... You might just be better off just sticking with it and going. But anyways, uh, three villages, though, profitable. Three towns to a city, profitable. Three cities to a castle, profitable. That number was like hundreds most of the time I updated it, but 
Uh, price of city has gone up. Price of castle has gone up not as much, comparatively, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I've I've been buying mostly villages and towns, as I think you saw. Yeah, I've got nine villages, and well, I had eight towns. I've already merged towns into cities twice. So, I have bought eight towns, nine villages, two ranches, and a farm so far. And actually, let me refresh this because I opened one pack. So, hey, look, five farms. Uh, and, oh, one of the best parts I haven't even said yet. This game can be 100% passive like our planet was until the recent updates. As in, you don't have to have any timers. You can click claim every hour if you want, every day, every week, once a month, once a blue moon, whatever the heck you feel like. You click claim, you click approve, that part doesn't show up for you. Successful, wait and see your balance, it's a little cut off up there, but oh look, I've now got 11,531. Just like that. Now, I, I collected not too long before starting this video, so uh, let's just see here. So I do have a, I could merge farms right now, not enough for those. Uh, well, just so I can show you guys here how this works, too. I, I want to stay up and get to a castle, but it's not too much to do this, so let's try it. So currently, I have five farms, two ranches. Now I'm going to merge three farms into a ranch, which will take me down to two farms and three ranches. So if I have more than two farms after this, that means I got some free farms in return. So let's try this. Merge. I've got a 39.6% chance. I haven't gotten lucky with my two merges into cities so far, which, you know, to be expected. But Now it's not instant, instant. It takes maybe 30 seconds to admit, depending if the chain's bogged down, which yesterday was really bogged down for a while at one point, but, you know. So let's see, 11, 5, 3, 1, knock down to 9, 3, 7, 1, 2, and 3, so, yeah, so it already updated. I did not get any bonus farms on that, but it's just that easy to merge. And that was more instant than I'm used to, even. And just out of curiosity here, we're at 9, 3, 7, 1. Can I claim again already? Dun, 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 dun. Wait for this to go away. Oh, yep. It, it went up by 80. <laughs> so you can claim like every minute if you want. There might be a minimum that you have to claim. So like if you have, if you own like one farm, maybe you can only claim every three hours. I feel like I saw someone mention like you have to have at least 30 to claim. Uh, that, there might be a way to like inspect Elmer or something. I'm not tech savvy in that regard. But uh, one kind of weird thing, currently at least, you can't see how much you are going to claim until you claim it and it just gets added. So like right now, like if if I had gone away for days, weeks, and come back like, oh, I haven't claimed in a while. How much is there? No idea. No idea. Now, if you know when you last claimed, you can take this, multiply by the number of hours as you claimed, and know how many you're going to get that way. But uh, there, there's no transparent way on the surface, at least right now, that tells you, which I have no inside knowledge or I haven't seen reference of it, but... I would wager to guess that they'll probably make it known visibly on the surface here how much you're going to claim before you claim it at some point in the not too distant future, maybe. We'll see. Uh, doesn't bother me, but more information, more transparency never hurts anybody. So, anyways, I think that's everything I want to tell you about all of this for now. If you want to hear more about the game, let me know. Uh, but let's crack some packs, shall we? Let's crack some packs. So again, anything we get that is not four farms is, is just a bigger win. Every pack is already win compared to the chainsaw. So, R.I.P. chainsaws. R.I.P. So there's four farms. Because again, three out of four packs is going to be all farms. We're opening, I opened one pack before the video. We're opening ten packs now, so it's eleven total. So that means if I have three packs that have one card that's not a farm in it, we beat the odds. So far, we're not being the odds, though. If we don't do it three times, but one of them is a village, that would be a win, too, I would say. Because that's a 5% chance? There's a ranch. All right. And that's that's our fourth pack, so we're basically at odds right now. Basically at odds. I know this isn't the most exciting pack opening ever, 
But, you know, it still packs. Still getting to open, open some carts. <laughs> Four farms. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -bum. Come on, come on. Four farms. That serial 420 off the side, I got trying to open that one. I'm trying hard. If anyone's interested in that, because you think it's lucky or you just want to hold it, hodl it, hodl it, however you want to say it, because of the serial, hit me up. <laughs> like I said, there's going to be some out there who pay a little bit extra for it to some extent. But, yeah. Four farms, oh no. <laughs> now, I like that, actually, I want to get get some stuff that's not farms, but uh, and if every pack had four farms, I'm still better off than I was when I did the conversion. So we need both of these packs to have a ranch or village in to like beat the odds. Or if just one pack is a village, that'd be that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Ranch, okay, okay, okay. Last pack, last chance for glory. Can we get our third ranch or a village? Four farms. Now I'm tempted to open this. Because, like, because then it's 12. And 70% of the time you get four farms. Well, we've already gotten four farms nine times. So, like, this one has to not have four farms, right? I'm going to try to resist. I'm going to try to resist. So, we had two farms. Three ranches, nine villages. Refresh. We've now got 29 farms, four ranches, nine villages. We're at 3,380 per hour. Um, doo -doo -doo. Is that, I want to get to a castle ASAP, which means I'm going to have to go village for 19,500. I'll have to do this one. For 58,000. That was an alarm, by the way, because it's time for me to do some Farmer's World. Because, you know, I gotta, gotta live and die with the alarm for that game. This game you don't. So I'd love to convert more and more stuff. I, I'm, fingers crossed, they said they have no current plans, but I love if they do a burn event for um, fishing boats and or mining excavators, and I can, like, convert more and just be like, yes, I, I want to do this instead. I don't want to have to get up once or twice during the night, every night, because, you know, who uh, who wants to do that? They don't have to. But I'm a generate, so, you know. But yeah, it costs extra M source basically, to uh, upgrade to a castle. So, after these three merges, because I have to go three villages to a town, so I have three towns, and then three towns to a city, to give me three cities, three cities to a castle, which means, do, 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 equals that plus that plus that, right? 524,000, is that what it was? Let's make sure I'm not crazy. Yep. So that means I need 602,000 M source. And I'm doing 3380 per hour. Equals that, divide by 3380, divide by 24. So it'll take me a week and a half of a day to generate that much currently. Now, so I guess best case scenario, if I don't buy any more lands, which I, I might. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to sell other stuff to get more wax so I can afford to buy whatever the best EV ROI thing is at the time. Uh, but, like, when I am able to merge my villages into a town, if I get any villages back, well, that increases my production, which would shorten how long it takes me to be able to afford it. And, like, part of me wants to see this go down again. Like, if it gets back into the fives or even, like, low sixes, like, I might just buy some extra M so I can level up our merged lands sooner as well, but anyways, I've talked way longer than I thought I would. I thought this would be like a 15, 20 minute video tops, so about almost 40 minutes. If you want me to try to go over this in more detail, <laughs> or at least like, I get more polish in some way, doesn't mean I'd be scripted, but I have a little bit more plan than I did with this going in, where I actually learned while recording, because I like, I've looked at this, 
but I didn't like process it fully. Where it's like, oh, if the Baron costs sixteen seals to recharge for a week, and it generates seven lands, that means it's basically costing you more than two royal seals per land, plus you the initial cost to get the Baron. So like, yeah, and also just shows you how important it is to have castles that create royal seals for you. So you can try to be self-sufficient. Because if you don't own a castle, and you own even just one baron, that means every week, once we get to 937,000 farms minted, you're going to be spending $80 for 16 royal seals every week just to keep your baron running. At which point, you're, I mean, farms are going to have to be over $10, or people aren't going to do that at all. And then less is being minted, and just, I don't know. It's going to be really interesting to see how this ages and develops over time. Uh, but yeah. So I, I will just mention here uh, a different option of an entry point as well. Not final data, subject to change. Craft event starting March 24th through April 7th is the Lumberjack event. You can um, craft, create however you want to phrase it, a lumberjack for 100,000 M source and two royal seals. So you could buy two royal seals from the game or from Atomic Cub for about $10, $5 each, and 100,000 M source. And if you buy it at the current ask, let's see, you'd have to go, well, they're all basically the same. 84, 100,000, 84 wax. And wax is at about a quarter, so that's twenty one. We'll round up and say twenty five dollars. So twenty five and ten, thirty five dollars. So the current cost of M source, uh, you can where am I? You can create a lumberjack for about thirty five dollars. Every day he will produce two to three lumber, which does not exist in the game yet. And then weekly recharge will be four hundred thousand M source and four royal seals. So that would be upwards of a hundred dollars plus twenty, hundred and twenty dollars weekly. So hundred twenty, it's going to generate fourteen. So well, one lumber could be upwards of ten dollars just to like be profitable, potentially. Or basically, one lumber could be worth half of a royal seal, or be worth the same as two royal seals, right? Cause let's see. So he'll produce 14 and 21. Worst case, 14. I don't know. I try to do mental math, which I do pretty decently, actually. But I'm probably... If anyone's still watching, thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Tell you what, if you're still watching, from what I hear other people say, if you put your wax wallet address in the comments... The, the comments get deleted sometimes. So what I'll do is I will make a channel in my Discord. Link for that is down below. So join my Discord. Find the channel in there that just says castles and drop your wax wall address. And I'll say I don't want to forget. Um, let's see. I'm recording this late March 14th. I'm just going to upload it. I don't care what time of night it goes live. Just get out there. Uh, do, do, do. Friday is the 18th. So it's not going to be a set hard end date, uh, but within a week, bef at the latest, Monday the 21st, I will pick one of the wax wall addresses in there and I will send you a farm to get you started uh, in this game. If you're still watching, you know. <laughs> um, I, I should start doing some giveaways on Twitter to try to go on Twitter and stuff too, but uh, for now, if you're still watching, join my Discord. Link is down below. And uh, find the channel in there that's called Castles or I mean, I'll call it like well, I don't want to call it Castle's Giveaway because that's kind of a tell for people. People that are in the Discord might join the giveaway too, full disclosure, because, like, if they put two together, I'm not going to say, like, hey, put your wax wallet and this will happen. If they see this, figure it out, they figure it out. But 
Uh, yeah. Y you might have previous nods. We'll see. Uh, but yeah. Lumberjack Craft event is coming soon. And then there's a few days after that ends, April 7th, until the Carpenter event starts. For the Carpenter, you'll need nine lumber and two Royal Seals. So three, four-ish days of production from a Lumberjack. And that produces two or three fine wood every day. And the weekly recharge is six lumber and one royal seal. So kind of interesting that the lumberjack is a lot more expensive to recharge than he is to create. But the carpenter is cheaper to recharge than the creation. And then royal courthouse, after that, 25 lumber, 70 fine wood, four royal seals. Not final. Monthly reward, 50% of wax purchases from Royal Seals split between bounty holders. The other 50% split with developers. Distributed from monthly snapshot, persistent rewards, and tradable NFT. So how much you can get for that depends on how many of these get crafted and also how many Royal Seals the game sells. But uh, that can earn you some extra passive income as well. And then Explorers Guild after that to be announced. Uh, Explorers Guild starts off our Land Rush crafting event and manual land crafting for all players and more. And I think I saw this. Oh, yeah, here. So I should start with this because this is a better visual, but uh, this shows what I already went over. You can pause if you need to at any point there. Uh, but yeah, starts our Land Rush event to reach 500,000 farms minted. So basically, I don't know, like early, middle, end, or a little bit after this event ends. We'll say sometime in June, potentially, is, I guess, when they're aiming to hit 500,000 farms minted. Right now, they are at about 74,000 farms minted. So that's 75. That They're almost a sixth of the way there. So like 15% of the way there right now. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm along for the ride. I'm trying to grill this so I can get more lands because I, I want to get a decent position in this thing because, oh, also important note that I f find very important based on some other projects I've been involved in that haven't gone so well. The dev team is doxxed. The CEO, he's very active in the Discord. He does YouTube videos and stuff like you, you can put a face to who's behind it. You can talk directly to the people. It, it just gives a lot of assurance because a lot of games that I've been in that didn't have that, well, they haven't turned out so well more often than not. So uh, when I heard that, saw that, saw their white paper with the scarcity and stuff, like, I I'm in. I'm in. Not financial advice. Do your own research. At very minimum, pull up this white paper. I'll have a link below. Read through it before you make any drastic financial moves. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. But yeah. Uh, I need to shut up for this. this is an hour video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Rock smash the like button. And I'll see you next time. Whenever, whenever that may be. And if you want to see more about castles, anything in particular, any f questions you have, drop them below. Maybe I'll do an FAQ video or something if there's enough questions and demand for that. But uh, yeah. I'll see you next time. I'll probably have a split on this video plenty soon because uh right now it's there's like 12 hours left in season so i'll have some end of season chest to open up uh sometime tomorrow probably so keep an eye out for that but yeah thanks for watching see you next time bye